hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today's just is on me ogumola late your me ogumola yes some of his colleagues have taken our time to remember him his good works and good deeds and how they met him and his impact in the now nollywood industry we have today on the 10th of july 2022 makes it 19 years since the veteran Yoruba actor Yomi Ogumola passed away. And the likes of Yomi Fashlan, so Toya C, among others, have taken out time to celebrate the late Ogumola as they pay him a tribute. This time last year, the likes of Adebayo Salami Ogabelo also took out time to pay him tribute. According to the veteran Yoruba actor Adebayo Salami, Yomi Ogumola passed away on july 10 2003 so it was exactly 18 years last year as he passed on yami ogumola was a very talented veteran yoruba actor who was so good at what he does yomi has created an everlasting impression in the minds of yoruba movie lovers and also gave some people the likes of doris simeon the opportunity to take on roles after so many trials to penetrate into the industry Yomi Ogumola will never be forgotten, said by veteran actor Adebayo Salami, who is a filmmaker, movie director, scriptwriter, entrepreneur, movie producer, and an amazing actor. Sharing a picture of Yomi Ogumola, he added a caption saying, Gone, not forgotten. Continue to rest in peace. Yomi Ogumola, 18 year remembrance. This was last year, 2021. Adibayo Salami decided to celebrate late actor. It may interest you to know that Yomi Ogumola is a brother to Pedro Ogumola. Yes, the one and only Pedro Ogumola, who is also a star in the Nollywood industry. The name Ogumola is an household name as brothers and sisters and even father were in the industry that of yomi ogumola was a rude shock to many of his lovers and his colleagues his sister Kwedru, who got married to another veteran actor sunday mobile who is popularly known as aluwe is doing well as mentioned earlier she has featured in many movies ogumola's remain an household name in the entertainment especially in the yoruba sector due to their contribution to the growth and development of the industry well yami fashlan so took to his instagram page to appreciate works of late yomi ogumola sharing a picture of the late actor yami fashlan so said and i quote I met you in 1995 through my area Egbo, Ola Miliko, Ola Dupupo, popularly known as Le Kensin in the industry at King Studio in Fadei. You taught me to be a potential film investor until Le Kensin introduced me to you and still you looked at me and asked Le Kensin. She only asked Sha. Le Kensin just laughed and left us standing. That meeting gave me the role of lawyer Tunde Smart alongside late Adebin Kwadikola, K.A. Ireti, in the movie Bekunkpe. Bekunkpe gave me the lead opportunity in the blockbuster movie Omolade by Prince Jide Kosoko, and Omolade shot me into limelight all under one year. Let me save a pistol for another day. Keep resting on the bosom of your creator, my dear Egmo Abayomi Ajani Ogumola. Seeing this, there were various reactions in the comment section, some from the colleagues of Yomi Fashlansu and some followers and loved ones of Yomi. Damola Alasunji said, Heaven gained an angel. Akwemi Ayola said, Continue to rest well, Ogami Atata. Another user said, Keep resting, Uncle Yomi Ogumola. Another user said, May you so continue to rest in peace. This and many more were different reactions by followers and colleagues of Yomi Fashlansu. Ade Sonya Toyosi, who is also an actor, an artist, a motivational speaker, and a movie producer, also went ahead to share the video, the same video shared by Yomi Fashlan So, and added the caption saying, Continue to rest internally, late Yomi Ajani Ogunleye. Today marked 19th year that you left this world. Born actor, ace director, actor per excellence, 
your acronym cut it's a wrap will forever linger in our memory end quote this was adesanya to your c sharing this memory with fans and loved ones on social media simeon who was one of the finest nigerian actresses back then well she left the screen to face a hairdressing business full time at some point she relocated to the united states after her son was taken from her her ex-husband well, the mother of one was born in Lagos and raised in Ojota, the mainland. The chance meeting with the late Yomi Ogumola in 2001 provided an opportunity to finally get a foot in the door after struggling for many years to penetrate the industry. If it wasn't for the crash of her marriage with the movie director Daniel Ademinoko, she would have been one of the few in her class to be free of controversy and stay relevant in the Nollywood industry. In an interview, she mentioned how she got the opportunity given to her by Yomi Ogumola after she got the role as a character in Papa Jasko. When she was asked the question, you started acting after late Yomi Ogumola introduced you to acting. Did he give you your first role? She answered by saying he did after the Papa Jasko project. It was after the location experience that I was given a lead role in a Yoruba movie. And she further explained saying it was at first titled Abani Kedo but later changed to 3 million naira. He directed it, it wasn't the producer. I asked if she had any issue or quarrel with the late Ogumola. She said, none at all. We had no misunderstanding. The only argument we must have had was perhaps that I heard it was in some location and it didn't carry me along on the job. You know, I was a green on then and I needed movie roles which he could facilitate for me this was simeon in an exclusive interview explaining the kind of relationship they had before the late ogumola passed on well in another interview with ninja rules she was asked the question about dating late ogumola where she eventually met a now ex-husband daniel ademinoko responding to that she said it's not like that i started about eight years ago when i dated Yomi Ogumola. I did not do that to get a role, although I later regretted dating him because he was married then. I felt so bad about it later, before he died. The relationship has ended. We just dated because of our closeness to each other. It was not that he asked me out with a promise to give me a role in a movie. In fact, while I did the first three movies with him, he didn't ask me out. He just saw me and asked whether I could speak Yoruba well to star in movies. That was it. It was not like, if you don't go out with me, I will give you a role again. I had been working all through before I met my husband. It was Doris Simeon in an exclusive interview explaining how the relationship between herself and Yomi Ogumola went. Well, we pray that the late Ogumola continues to rest in perfect peace. And guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.